My name is Kristen Mitchell, and I will be presenting a speech on Salvador Dali. The persistence of memory is one of Salvador Dali's most recognized paintings, and my first experience into the world of surrealist art. The painting depicts several melting clocks, as if they were candles, whose time spent is evident by the deformed and collected wax. Dali represents many solid objects or ideas with some fluidity, bending shapes into twisted versions of reality. Salvador Dali's surrealistic expression of the world around him provides the viewer with an opportunity to question their surroundings and see the deeper meanings in simple twists of reality. I will be discussing some of the ways Salvador Dali used surrealism to manage his own feelings of fear and anxiety, how he used surrealism as a form of reinvention, and how he used surrealism to rejuvenate the fashion industry. Salvador Dali suffered from a terrible fear of insects as a child, and was tormented by his peers because of this. When he turned to art as a form of self-expression and understanding, he included many images of insects. Dali focused on imagery that he found disturbing, upsetting, or perversely fascinating, in an effort to disassemble reality and systemize confusion. I found this information in an article written by Kriske, Mater, and Smith in the American Entomologist of 2020, entitled Surreal Entomology, The Insect Imagery of Salvador Dali. Salvador Dali was fascinated by the psychoanalytic studies of Sigmund Freud, building off Freud's ideas for artistic inspiration. He became obsessed with psychoanalysis and paranoia and sought ways to include these concepts in his art. I found this information in an article written by the Philadelphia Museum of Art of 2005, entitled Salvador Dali. When the two met, Salvador Dali and Sigmund Freud, Dali was pleased to learn that Freud was a fan of his artwork. Now Salvador Dali thrived when he was among like-minded people, but he sometimes took his surrealism a little too far, causing much upheaval to his life. Salvador Dali was a free soul always daydreaming the new ways of understanding. He often allied himself with other surrealists, like fellow surrealist Spaniard Pablo Picasso. Dali confessed once to fantasizing Hitler as a woman. This confession led to him being expelled from his group of surrealist friends that were allied to the French Communist Party. With no group of people to call home, he set out for a new one, America. This information I found in an article written by Stanley Meisler in the Smithsonian Magazine of 2005, entitled The Surreal World of Salvador Dali. Upon moving to America, he changed many aspects of his life, referring to this move as a chance to shed his old self or get a new skin uh, out of an old skin. Salvador Dali, known for being a bit of an agnostic, switched paths to that of his late mother's religion, Catholicism. He later went on to paint Christ of St. John on the Cross, a moving but very religious piece, different from his usual. This information I found in a study written by Julia Pine in the English Studies in Canada of 2008, entitled New Skin, A New Land, Dali's American Metamorphosis. After starting again in a new land, Salvador Dali strived toward fame and fortune through alternative surrealist pursuits. In his later years, he sought wealth above most else, finding pleasure in painting sets for plays and musicals. Though he was not as free to express himself surreally, he scratched that itch by portraying his public persona of Salvador Dali for the media in commercials and advertisements. Additionally, he created and sold custom surreal jewelry. Eventually, Salvador Dali turned his surrealist sights on the fashion industry, allowing his creativity and ingenuity to shine through his wardrobe and furniture creations. The most famous of these pieces of furniture is a love seat designed to imitate the shape of Mae West lips, a popular burlesque dancer and singer and performer. This information I found in an honors thesis written by Chantal Hooglin in the College of William and Mary of 2016 entitled Salvador Dali, Surrealism, and the Luxury Fashion Industry. Salvador Dali expressed his surrealist tendencies through all walks of his art, lifestyle, and beliefs. He was a painter, author, designer, poet, and so much more. 
though Dolly's chosen style of art shifted as his own personal beliefs did throughout his life, the one constant that remained the same was his ever endearing quality of using surrealism to show the many different aspects life has to offer. Salvador Dali is quoted as saying, everything alters me, but nothing changes me. Thank you.